Hello and welcome to the next week guys uh, retro game review video. Uh, for this one it is Go Go the Ghost which was published by Firebird in 1985 I think. I'll double check that prior to uploading. Uh, this was the first Firebird game I actually had. So yes I did have this back in the day. Uh, this was published around the time when Firebird games were £2.50. So did you get more for your extra 51p compared to a Mastertronic game? Well, that's what we're going to find out. I think this game was uh, written by a Danish coding uh, uh, group. The name Richard Dugscold there certainly looks Danish. Anyway, let's get a game on the way. So you control old Go-Go down here. Now you'll notice that uh, the playing area is rather small. And uh, well below the, the playing area, so to the right, make that to the left, you can see uh, two lives. To the right of that, there are these selection of icons which are constantly flickering. If you pick up an object, then depending on uh, which of those icons is illuminated, you will get that benefit. So it'll be extra life, extra power, extra time, 1000 point bonus, extra power again, or 5000 point bonus. Below that is your power. The power is how long you can stay invisible for. Let's grab a... Right, so I've got extra power. Not that I need it because I haven't used it. So yeah, you got the, uh, the the power meter there. I will use that at some point. This stuff here is, uh, I think it's meant to be gold dust or something. So you get a bonus for uh, whatever you collect. Let's go and grab that other icon. It's giving me an extra life. All right, let's bugger off to the next room. So your time gets reset once you uh, leave one room and head to the next. You may notice that uh, these rooms are not easy. It starts difficult and stays difficult because we need to time it uh, yes, extremely well. There we go. thousand point bonus will come in handy I suppose. Now this is the room where, or the first room where you really need to use the power. So first of all we'll get through that and then we use the power to go invisible there. As you can see your power bar diminishes at a rapid rate. I've just got an extra uh, lot there which is more than handy. Oh that was fucking close. And because that music was still playing, uh, yeah, the uh, audio's fucked up. Hopefully it will sort itself out now. Nope. <sighs> well, that's one glitch I never encountered when I used to have this back in the day. That is going to become really fucking annoying. Now, we need to be absolutely pixel perfect when it comes to getting past these obstacles. I don't know how the fuck I did that. Oh, bollocks, then I moved too quickly. Okay, hands up those of you who are fucked off with that fucking noise. It's just not going to go away, so what I'll do, I'll ki get myself killed and hopefully that will start to... Uh, uh, so once you've lost your last life, you've then got to sit through this really game over sequence, which consists of just watching the room in slow motion, and then finally, after that sound effect finishes, it comes up game over, and we go back to the title page. Alright, let's try again. Now you notice the uh, items uh, are placed randomly. 
Now, although your power will allow you to turn invisible and you can use it to get past these monsters, it's no good for getting past uh, uh, obstacles that are, you know, part of the scenery, including those things that keep disappearing and reappearing again. Which is rather annoying because they are by far the most difficult parts to uh, avoid. Uh, several rooms, including the last one I was in and this one, have more than one uh, e exit. So, uh, I may try a different route this time. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. That fucking power bar goes down so fast it's practically useless. completely out and I'm sure I'm going to need some for that next uh there we go. Shit, actually I should have gone then because that uh, was stuck. I can only assume that that uh fiop that uh it's prints when you've lost a life is Danish for... I don't know. Maybe it's Danish for you fucked up, you useless cunt. I doubt it, but it might be. Oh great, I've got extra time, just what I fucking need. Uh, didn't have enough power to get through there, so there we go, game over. And frantically pressing fire to try and get past this fucking irritating game over sequence. I, I thought you could exit it earlier, but no. So you've got to sit through it. Right, so, uh, last go, and, uh, we'll get the review underway. The graphics are extremely basic. Monochromatic sprites, very, sort of, generic backgrounds. Uh, uh, the audio, well, there's no, you know, lack of variety as far as the, uh, audio effects for the rooms go. Uh, the jingles that play when you pick up the items are pretty innocuous, but I mean, you know, I've heard worse. So yeah, audio-wise it's pretty harmless stuff. Uh, and gameplay-wise, the gameplay I personally think is practically non-existent. Uh, the rooms vary from incredibly easy to incredibly difficult, with very little in between. Um, the, the, the things like your invisibility power here, so you can pass through, uh, you know, these, whatever they fucking meant to be. Uh, it goes down so fast that you really don't have much chance to use them. I was trying to rush through there. So, now uh, get down to this fucking. Ah, uh, bollocks. Didn't press it in time. Uh, the, uh, the, the gameplay hindrance is not helped by the ridiculously small playing area. And I mean, bearing in mind, there are supposedly uh, 150 rooms in this game so trying to find them all is fucking ludicrous uh, the game does have a uh, like password system so when you reach a particular room that has a password you can then enter that password and and use that to start from that particular room number instead of just you know, having to start off from room zero again. Well, I said this was the last game, but I'll have one more 
and I'll show you one of the uh, additional rooms. When I had this back in the day, I did manage to get to uh, this section. Here we go. So, uh, Polly's Paradise, which is a fucking irritating level. Oh, for fuck's sake, doing things like that doesn't help. You notice there's uh, a like, copyright symbol almost. Uh, if you uh, manage to get that, there you go, you now open uh, several gates which allow you to uh, reach rooms which were inaccessible prior to then. There up there. So this one's completely silent, it's also a fucking cunt. Well, I say silent, I mean, there's that same sound, uh, sound effect that plays throughout and uh, just mistime it by, you know, a fraction of a second. This is a really cuntish room. I fucking hate this one. Mind you, I hate most of them. So anyway, uh, yeah, our graphics are pretty bland, very generic. Audio is no great shakes and yeah the gameplay is none too spectacular either and it all uh, adds up to an unbelievably bland and instantly forgettable game. Um, I am not a fan at all, I can't say that uh, my first uh, Firebird game was a particularly impressive one, in fact it wasn't even remotely impressive. thing is where it really fucks you off is if you get this far and then you mistime it just slightly and it sends you right back to the start again. So there we go, so I did all that and now I've got to make my way back again. I can't remember which way is the best way to go. Well, I've got to go this way anyway, so... And, of course, I've just realised my time is running out as well. So, I've got to be fucking quick here now. I can't hang around. Oh, you fucking piece of cunt! That really has fucked me off, that has. Right, well, I mean, the game was not going to score much anyway, but after that, you know, fuck it, yes. Right, well, I'll show you one more uh, room, preferably if I spell it right. Right, so here we are then, Headache, which doesn't give you a fucking second to actually get started. You've got to move straight away. I assume this headache is based on the, uh, the uh, game. Uh, you know, the Firebird game headache. So now I've got to fucking time it to get past this fucking thing and for that, like, gateway thing to be open. Like that. But now I've got to do it again with this really fast moving cunt. I don't know how the fuck I managed that. But then I've got to do it again to get back. Hurry up! Fucking thing. This game is really getting on my tits. I don't know which way to go. Fuck it, we'll go down here. 
don't remember this level at all. Okay, well I guess I did need to do that, but... Keith, give me a power, I don't need that. Didn't really need the bonus either. Oh, well. oh fuck it now. Oh, uh, right, I don't know which way, let's go this way. Okay, that is the only way. not letting me pick this up, whatever it is. Oh, well. oh you fucking... Uh, I can't even see where the fuck I'm supposed to go, actually. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck you. Know. Well, it looks like I've reached, like, a dead end. I, I can't... Ah, oh, fuck it. Well, there you go, so that's Go Go the Ghost then. It's fucking irritating. Uh, the playability is bloody low, to put it mildly. Uh, I score it 1 out of 10, um, but there really is absolutely nothing here of any interest. Uh, so, yeah, don't bother with this one. That brings this review to an end, and we'll see you at the next one.